What's up guys, it's x 2 robbie 2 x here, and I am back with some Minecraft modding made easy, and again, I keep saying this, sorry for not making these more often, but I'm kind of busy, so, ugh, sorry for that, but today we're going to be looking at different uh, block models. Now, if we go ahead and look at, if, if I just start this up, and I probably should not have done that because I have a world already prepared for the tutorial. But if we make a normal world, we're going to see that the normal block model, as you would see in dirt or um, stone or anything of that sort, come on, generate the level, is like this. It is simply a block like this. And it's pretty much like a one by one block, technically speaking, if this was one unit. Well, hello there. Alright, so, you know, normal blocks like this, let's just keep that in mind. That, uh, they're one, one block or one unit wide, one unit tall, one unit in length. So, uh, what we're going to be doing today is actually transforming the blockium block into something different. Um, it's not going to be stairs it's not gonna be it's not gonna have any detailed models but it's gonna be something different so first of all what we're gonna look at we're actually gonna look at stairs and then we can uh, I'll also get to the cauldron soon but you can find out a lot of stuff from the stairs and I'm not gonna be going over directional blocks like stairs for example if you place them in front of you they turn a certain way and you can walk up them in that certain way um, I mean, you can do this simply by copying the first few methods of this. Like, if you copy pretty much this right here from the stairs, you will get uh, you will get stairs. But um, I don't really want to do that. I just want to make like a symmetrical block. So instead of making a directional block, let's just make a simple symmetrical block. Now, what you're gonna need for that is four things, which you can also find in stairs block stairs Java. You're going to need set block, set block bounds based on state, or um, right here. This is the first method in blockstairs.java. Next, you are going to need get colliding colliding bounding boxes, which, if you scroll down a little, it's this really really long method. You're just gonna go ahead and grab that, and um, you can if you want you can copy the code in here. Also, we're gonna change that a bit. Then the next two things you're gonna need is is opac cube and render as normal block so you can also find these right here and that, those are only four methods that we're gonna need to transform blocky and blocks so let's go over these I guess now when rendering a block there are two different things that you have to account for that is the um, block bounds like the I don't know I don't know how to say this I guess the bounding box and the collision box. Now, uh, the block bounds box, or I guess you call it, is its physical. Um, now, I guess it's like its aesthetic look, how it looks. So, if we went ahead and set these three to one, it would simply look like a normal block. So, um, let's go ahead and demonstrate that actually. So, let's set these to zero, and let's actually keep these at seven. And we're going to see how we're going to transform our block. So let's go ahead and. And now I have this world pre made already. There's some blocking. There's a lot of blocking blocks around. See, there we go. Now we changed the model. Shut up, cow. We changed the model of, as you see, the blocking block. And since our actual texture is 16 by 16, it's not. You know, it doesn't have the full texture. It doesn't have the full, uh, I guess, texture on the face simply because it's not big enough. So there we go. I mean, that's how you transform that. As you can see, it's also floating in midair. And you can see that the bounding box, you can actually hit around it while still being in the same, um, same little cube over here. But as you can see, it's kind of shifted towards one corner and it, it's always going to shift towards that one corner no matter how you move unless we specify differently but, but there you go so the next thing we want to go through so let's I'm gonna set this back to three 
like this. And the next thing we want to go to is the colliding box. Now what that does is actually that is the physical bounding box. It's a physical box of the block. And so I mean this could be one. This these could be a one. The bounding the the block bounds box can be set to one. So it's like a full block. It's a full it looks like dirt. I mean it has the dimensions of dirt. But if we set the colliding box to really little or like non existent at all, we could simply walk through the block without anything happening. So let's um let's check that out, I guess. Let's let's just make everything to zero so it has absolutely no colliding box. So now we just set everything to zero. And I also did set these to three and then seven. Now I'm gonna explain that in a little bit. Nope, I picked the wrong world. Uh, I would pick the wrong world. All right, so if we look at these, if we get on the ground, you can see that there we can see these little boxes right here. And if we if we put our mouse over and we can highlight them, you can, you can sort of see that it's highlighting just the box, just the block. It's not highlighting the whole like block around it, but just the block. So we have our bounds box, right? But our collision box is non-existent, so we can just walk right through it. So I guess what you want to do, this is how stairs work. The stairs, actually, the shape of the stairs does absolutely nothing for the stairs. It is an actual collision box that makes it makes you able to walk up it. And if you want to copy the stairs collision box, well, you can do that with uh, just simply copying the collision box code for stairs. So let's, uh, well, while we're here, while we're still looking at the block, I put some notes up here on the set block bounds based on state. So if we look at our box, if you look at our block, it is um, pretty much hovering in the middle of a block. It is centered in the middle and is also centered in the middle height wise. So if we were to break this, oops, like this. Oh, uh, let me. There we go. So it is centered in the middle, both height-wise and, you know, it, by length and width. So how we determine this is if we look up here, I put 0, 0.3, I mean 0 0.3, 0 0.3, 0 0.3, then 0 0.7, 0 0.7, 0 0.7. And under that I have comments. First is width, then is height, then is length, then another width, height, and length too. So what this does is, let's say uh, we are in this corner right here oops I that was okay that was horrible so let's say let's represent our block as this one block let's just say this it's this long all right so for example if we are in this corner this is how it starts the first width would start in this corner and if we set it to point three that means it's going point three out meaning our block would just be this Pretty much our block would be right here. This would be our block if we just set it to 0.3 and left everything as is. So um, the other three is height. So what it does is it pushes three up also. So what it does actually, it's you know it's suspended in midair now and it's cut off from right here. So our block would really be our block would be right here if we just let it be like this so the next point three is the length so let's say we have our three going this way also so then our block well actually yeah I, I guess that makes sense so now our block is kinda just sitting like this in a square is what we have over here I don't know if this makes sense. It's kind of confusing. I know I can't. I'm not really that good at explaining grids, I guess. But that's pretty much what you're trying to get. And now the other set, width 2, height 2, and length 2, are simply from the opposite side. Meaning, um, it all right here in the middle is always 0 0.5. If you set it to 0.5, if we were to set all these numbers to 0 0.5, our block would be invisible. There would be absolutely no bounds box because the two sides would cancel each other because they meet at the same spot. So what we did is we put 0 0.3, 0 0.3, 0 0.3 on one side and then 0 0.7, 0 0.7, 0 0.7 on the other side. 
So technically, if you're going from the middle, and we're going, if the middle is 0.5, we went 0.2 from the middle in each side, in each like width, height, length, meaning we pretty much made a cube in the middle, two away from its center. So how you can think of this is in the center of this cube is the center of the block, and then uh, two, yeah, it would be a two radius, two point two unit radius going in all directions. So that's that's how that is made. It I probably just confused you a lot, but um, hey, I, maybe you learned something. I don't know. So now let's get to the other explanations. What you want to do if you if you're making a different model block is you want to set the bounding uh, I mean the collision box the same unless you're making things like stairs or you know stuff like that so let's do that also uh, yeah, I'll get to that in a second after I explain yeah I'll, I'll tell you how to make stairs well not really how to make stairs but I, I guess <laughs> alright so now we went over the block bounds collision boxes basically the same thing as the block uh, as the bounds boxes but there, this is rather physical. You can bump into this. This is collision. So you can collide with it. You as an entity can collide with the box. This one is just simply it's just setting the block like, I don't know. It's just, I really don't know how to explain it, but it's just setting it aesthetically. It's just what you see. This is what you feel. This is what you see. So um, this right here, I could just copy this from stairs. So if we look at stairs, if we look in the thing, just copy one of these methods. I mean, just this this code. And if you just paste it in here, you'll pretty much get stairs. You can walk up them, but only from one side. That's how the collision box work. Now the next two methods are is opaque cube and render as normal block. So what render as normal block does is it allows us to cut corners off a of block. So um, just to just to show you guys how this works. Let me set render as normal cube to true. Now remember we had our little cube in the center with the two radius. That's what we had before. So if we go back in, in our thing, it renders a full block and you see like it, it has a collision box. It will not let me get towards that. And I mean it's, I can jump on it, but it's like jumping on a normal block. Like it just creates a... I guess a normal block, but which you don't really want because as you see the collision boxes are all messed up and it just basically it just creates a fully one by one unit block which you do not want. So if we go back and set this to false, that will allow us to cut corners off the block, making a smaller block if we wanted to, and you know, stuff like that. Now a pack cube we work with this when we work with glass. This pretty much is is it see through? That's what it's looking for. And since we cut corners off our block, it is uh, it has to be see-through. But this is what happens when your block is touching the ground or any other um, non-opaque block or opaque block. I'm not sure which one. And basically, if if, it, if your block is touching a solid block, you can see through, and that's you don't want this because it's just I mean that's just glitchy. So basically, what you want, and actually I found this cool place over here. It just looks really cool when you have this on. Uh, I turned uh, the blockium all the way up. So like this is a room full of blockium and it's kind of cool. But as you can see like it's really glitchy and I guess you could like x-ray with this. But I don't know. So that's that. Uh, by now you should probably have some kind of an idea how to build these um, new... Wait, you want to set both to false by the way. How to... Um, build these new model blocks. Now the last thing I'm gonna kinda just little touch up on is renders. So if we go to render types, if we go to stairs it says get render type return 10. If we go to cauldron then get render type return 24. This is actually the render type for stairs which is 10 is the actual stair model. The stair model was not created through bounding boxes. The stair model was actually, I don't, honestly, I don't know this. That's why I'm just touching up on it. I've tried looking for where the render, where the render models are established. Couldn't find it. But basically, um, that's where you're going to get. It's a render type and 10 is stairs. There's all these different things that you can search for and returns a different render type. 
So, like, I just did stairs and cauldron. So cauldron's a 24, and that's what creates that, like, bowl-looking thing. And, actual, the bounding box is what allows it to be a cauldron, what allows you to drop stuff in there. Like I said, the rendered type is simply aesthetic. It's just what it looks like. The bounding boxes, the collision boxes, are what it feels like. What, what you can hit, what you can't hit, you know, what that kind of stuff. So... Um, I, I hope I provided you with enough info to create your own stairs or your own slabs or one inch thick boards or something. I don't know what you want this for, but um, like I said, if you want more about directionals and stuff like that, check out the stairs. It's really easy to follow, and I just don't have enough time right now to do to go over this. So I might actually go over directionals sometime soon. Uh, but next time, I kind of want to get into the solar. I want to break break off my, uh, pretty much break apart my solar redstone mod, and I want to get into redstone. I want to get into solar power. I want to get into timing in Minecraft, and stuff conditionals on time and brightness and stuff like that. So that should be pretty cool, and hopefully I'll do them soon. I'm not, like I said, I'm not gonna promise anything, but I'll try to do it soon. So uh, hope you like this video. Hope you learned something. Let me go back to block him. Yeah, hope you learned something. Um, I, I don't know. I hope you're making some new model blocks like I did. Uh, but other than that, thanks for watching and see ya.